My name is Jeff Weller. I'm a senior Salesforce consultant and business solution architect for Brema based out of Calgary, Alberta. Uh, great question. I was actually working at Olive Garden and uh, out of school, I just couldn't find anything, moved down to the States. And a buddy of mine is like, hey, have you ever heard of Salesforce? I'm starting up a company. I was like, nope. So I ended up uh, saving up as much as I could and went to take the admin to a one course by Salesforce, spent all my saved up money and ended up getting certified and started working with my buddy and been doing it ever since. I'm not the type to just sit down and take what life's thrown at me, I guess is a good way to say it. And so I've, I've really worked hard to continually position myself in each role that I've moved forward in. And Salesforce has allowed me to do that because their, their environment and what they offer is just so wide um, you can just continually learn and continually offer and learn new skills and just become more valuable in different ways. I guess the most challenging part of learning Salesforce, if I was to pick a specific thing, would be the security model. But that's now very simple <laughs> now that I know it. Um, but if I was going more general, I would say the fact that it's not an industry standard out of the box. Like it's, it's like an industry parallel you know, SQL queries aren't SQL queries, they're SQL queries, right? And they're just everything's just a little, little bit slid off the, the main path of, of everything else in industry. That would be the most complicated part. It's really just a lot of, um, you know, being that liaison between the clients and the technical teams. And uh, there is a, a, a fair amount of hands-on implementation as well. So, you know, in, in conjunction with my developers, um, you know, I, as a senior level person, I'm also training and mentoring peers, taking them through implementation, expressing best practice on how to do things. And so they don't build themselves into a rabbit hole that I've done hundreds of times in, in their shoes. But yeah, a, a lot of mentoring, a lot of client relationship management, stakeholder relationship management <laughs> for the bigger ones. Um, and just really understanding any risks and making sure the project is, is handled and maintained both timeline and budget. So some of that PM type work as well. <laughs> First and foremost, patients, clients, you know, everything might be going perfectly fine, but as soon as it doesn't, you have to be able to handle that, uh, that relationship. Um, in, in addition to that, definitely a foresight of setting expectations ahead of time. You know, standard PM skills is a must, um, but also business analysis skills, just making sure you're getting the right information, not just letting the client lead the call. Yeah, and then from that senior level, I guess it, it kind of falls back onto my previous answer, but there's that mentorship of other peers around you. You know, I, I use Focus on Force for my senior cloud consultant certification. And you know, I took it once like years ago and I was like, yeah, I got this, no problem. And then I take the test. I'm like, nope, failed. Um, and so when I spent the money for Focus on Force, it allowed me to see different things that maybe I wouldn't have gotten through Trailhead. You know, it's sometimes worth spending the, the 20 bucks, get a few tests. I bought the test questions. I bought the the study guide or the sample tests and the, set, and the study guide. I bought both. And they really were pretty much spot on. And so because of that, I passed. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. You know, I don't have a college degree. That's just where I ended up. But I've been really motivated and the certification allowed me to actually get into positions that I probably had no reason to be there for. Um, just because the requirements said, hey, you need a, you need a college degree. It's, it's sad that that's the place that we're in, but the certification was invaluable. Like I, I wouldn't have been able to do any of this without it. So get your, get your admin cert. And once you get your admin cert, your, your doors just open up for you. You're going to be able to get into places you never thought. You're going to be able to influence markets and industries. Like I'm where I'm currently at, I'm, I'm influencing an entire province because the clients that we have determine what businesses are brought into new cities. They determine 
you know, they're, they're searching for what's cool, what, what's exciting for this location. Is it this new hydrogen stuff that's happening? Is it machine learning, right? And all these businesses that come in offer people new jobs, right? And so getting my admin cert oh, almost 10 years ago allowed me to get more certs, more certs, more certs. And now I'm influencing the, the communities around me. I'm allowing hundreds of new jobs to come in because I'm building a system that supports uh, these different municipalities' efforts to bring in new businesses and, and grow their own communities. So it it's really a, a passion to just experience. Uh, it, it's an experience that brings on passion, I think is more what I'm trying to say. But yeah, it's, it's a fantastic, fantastic road in Salesforce. <laughs>